you got 20, 50 or even more trades locked into your Edgewonk trading journal, that's great. Now comes the exciting part, diving into the data to uncover your true edge and refine your trading strategy. But where should you begin? In this video, we'll guide you through the most powerful analysis tools Edgewonk offers, breaking down how each one reveals insights about your trading habits, strength and areas for improvement. First, let's try to find your under and over performers. So those are the parts of your trading that work exceptionally well and things that don't go so well. For that, we can go to our chart lab and we can start by the performance by time. This gives you a breakdown of your trading day. So each hour has an own interval and it shows you how many trades and what your performance is. So for example, in this journal, we can see that before 10 a.m., this trader is underperforming. It could be that before the market opens, the trading system is not very aligned with the market and it's performing much better after the open market volatility is kicking in and then the trader is seeing much better results. You can also look for the weekday so you can see what day of the week you're performing best. And here we can see on Saturdays the system is underperforming. So it could be that this trader is trading cryptos on the weekend and this is not working well for the trader. Looking at the weekdays and the hour of day intervals can tell you a lot about your trading style and when you're performing best. Let's move on to our trade setups. So we go to the performance by setups and here we see all the trading strategies that the trader has locked in this trading journal. We sorted by the value and now we get a breakdown from the best performing to the worst performing trading strategy. We can see here that three setups and strategies are not performing well and the trader is losing money on three of them. And now the trader has two options, either he stops trading those completely or he dives deeper into the performance analysis tools in Edgewonk to find out why the systems are not working and how we could turn this around. We can also do the same for the instruments and we find out which instruments and markets are performing well and where he's losing money. Sorting by the value instead of the name gives you this breakdown sorted and from the best performers to the worst performers. And then we also have some easy and very helpful ways to get more data on your instruments and also your setups. So what we can do now is, for example, we go to our trade analytics and then let's assume we want to get more insights into our instruments. And one of the reasons why you have different performance for different setups or instruments is that different markets follow different volatility levels. Some are more active, some are less active, some are more prone to volatility spikes some just behave differently around different times. So in the trade analytics, as you've seen, we have clicked on the instruments here. And this brings it to the ordering here. And when we now open this table, we get a very detailed breakdown into our trading instruments. And you can do this for every other part as well. You can do it for the setups. You can do it for your winners and losses and many other ways. So here what we see is, first of all, how many trades you have taken per instruments. What is your average win rate? What's the average PL? What's the profit factor? The R multiple? What is the longest winning streak? What is the longest losing streak? And when we go to the right, you also have interesting insights such as the MAE, the MFE, the average updraw and the drawdown. So, how much did the price go against you during the trade? How much did it move in your favor? And that is really insightful. You can also leverage our filters for that. So when we open the filters, you'll see that you can filter for pretty much anything in your journal. We have filters for the instrument, the setup. You can even filter for reward to risk ratio levels. You can filter for your winning, losing, break even trades. You can filter for the direction for long and short trades. You can filter for days or for months, specific hours of the day. You can look for specific date ranges. So only at the current week, the last week, yesterday and so on. And those filters will then apply to every feature and analysis tool in Edgewonk. So assuming we only want to look at a specific setup, we can do that here. And now the home tab has adjusted. And now we see the net return, the win rate, the PL. We see on which weekday this is performing best, on which instrument it's performing best, what time of the day it's performing best. And that way you can get very detailed breakdowns. You can go to all of the other tabs here on the left and drill down into every part of your trading. Occasionally, we have also seen that some traders can develop toxic relationships to certain instruments, and then it becomes very personal. And what this then often does is that you have one instrument that is costing you a lot of your performance. In such cases, it's very insightful to recognize that. This is a great way of visualizing it. 
and then stop trading this instrument for a few weeks or months altogether until you have calmed down and you can approach this market with neutrality again. Finally, we can also look at the custom stats for under and over performers and custom statistics, as the name suggests, you can customize it completely. Here we see a custom statistic for the time frame that the trader is tracking and pretty much all the time frames are working well except for the daily time frame. So this trader is losing a lot of money trading the daily time frame and this could indicate that the trader is more suited for short term trading and the longer term daily charts are not working well for this trader. You can track many other things. What we have seen many traders track is patterns. So if you're trading specific price patterns or using indicators, that could also be interesting. You could track general market information. So are you trading in an up market, in a down market, in a high momentum, low momentum, high volatility, low volatility market? And that can reveal very interesting insights and correlations to your trading performance. Let's move on to risk management now, because risk management is one of the key factors of trading success. And for that, we first go to our risk distribution. And this breaks down your trading performance and the outcome of your trades in intervals. And what you typically see is that most of your results will be clustered somewhere in the center. And this suggests that you have a steady and consistent position sizing. However, when you find that you have intervals and bars on the left hand side, it shows that you have outliers, negative outliers. So those are large losses that should not occur and they often point towards some kind of mistake. It could be oversizing, it could be delaying loss taking or any other mistake that relates to risk management. So here we can see that although most of the losses fall into this area and we can see the average return on a losing trade is 0.62%. We have one trade where the trader is losing somewhere between 4.75 and 4.5% on a single trade. And at the same time, you can see that the average return on a winning trade is only 0.58%. And he's very consistent with his winning and losing trades in general. But this trade easily wiped out six to eight of his regular winning trades. And this is a big red flag that needs to be addressed. So occasionally looking at your risk distribution is very helpful to see if you are still on track or if you see that bars are popping up here on the left hand side. When we go to our home tab, we also have interesting insights here about the average PL. So the average trade value, we can see the average winning trade is 190 US dollar and the average losing trade is minus 200. So the average losing trade is slightly larger than the average winning trade. However, with a high win rate here above 50%, this trader is still ending up with a profit. However, if you see that your average PL is getting smaller and smaller, this should be addressed because it can show you that your losses are too big and that your winners are too small. And this can often mean that traders are cutting their winners short. I will show you in a moment how we can address that as well. Another very helpful feature is our performance reports. So we go to reports and then open the monthly reports. And here you get a breakdown of your performance month by month. You can also open this here and then you get a performance breakdown on a weekly basis and the arrows indicate your progress over time. So if the arrow is going down, it shows you that from this prior week to this week, the return is getting worse. The return has gotten worse. The win rate here has gotten worse. The average PL has gotten worse. The R multiple, interestingly enough, has gotten up. So you can see the arrows pointing up and this is a very good way of just following your progress and your performance month after month. So checking your reports occasionally can help you see where you are and how your trading is evolving. Of course, when it comes to performance analysis, we also have to check our mistakes and we have to see if we are making mistakes or if we are generally following our trading plan. Because making mistakes and errors can introduce a lot of noise into our performance data. And also at the same time, looking beyond the noise and beyond the mistakes, can help us find our true edge. And for that, we can open our chart lab and then we go to our trade comments. And here we see our trade entry comments. So in Edgewonk, you can rank every entry, every exit and every trade management decision that you're making. And then you get this breakdown here. And you can very nicely see that a perfect entry gives you the best performance. Whereas if you're taking entries that are too late, which are 11 trades here, you're losing money. Same with impulsive entries, entries that you've taken too early or revenge trading. And this can often be an aha moment and a huge eye opener. Once traders can see that they actually have an edge, they just have to follow their trading plan. And when they start following their trading plan, they are making money. 
And this can then often be the beginning for traders to trade with more disciplines. Once they see that I need to trust my system because when I trust my system, I am making money. Another great way of visualizing this is our efficiency. So on the chart lab, we have this efficiency graph and efficiency just shows you how well do you follow your trading rules. The higher the efficiency, the better you're following your trading plan, the lower the efficiency, the more mistakes you are making. Here we can see there was a peak of 65% efficiency. The efficiency then dropped to 53 and now we are back at 57. So here was a period where the efficiency was going lower, which then means the trader is making more mistakes. And recently the efficiency is going up, which means that the trader is making better trading decisions and following his trading plan more closely. When we go to the journal, we also have our tilt meter here, which is a very popular feature. And the tilt meter visualizes your trading discipline on each trade. The more green the tilt meter, the more you have followed your trading plan. The red tilt meter means that you have broken your trading rules on this trade. So when we open this trade, we go to the advanced trade data and you can see that the entry was rated too late. The trader managed the trade well and the exit was too late. And because you have two negative comments, too late and too late here, and one positive one, those are two versus one and you get a small red tilt meter. So the larger the tilt meter to the left, to the red side, the more you have broken your trading rules. And then finally, you also need to address our trade management. As I've said, when we see that our average PL is getting smaller and smaller, this can often highlight problems with our trade management. And very often this means cutting winning trades too soon. So under trade management, we visualize your trade management results. And the blue line is your actual performance measured in our multiple. So this shows you how much money you are currently making in your trading account. And the interesting part is the green and the yellow line. The green line shows you how much potentially you could have made. So in the beginning, the potential performance was above the actual performance. And this means that the trader could have made more money. So he was mismanaging his trades in some way. At the same time, you can see the management effect here, the yellow line was going down, which means that he is losing money by actively managing his trades. And again, this typically means that the trader is cutting his winners before the take profit would have been reached. So Edrock analyzes how often did the price reach your take profit target and what was the actual outcome and did you interfere with your trades. Later then the management effect, the yellow line went up and up and up, which means that the trader is making better trading decisions. And then you can see the actual performance even crossed above the potential performance. And this means then that the trader has corrected his approach He's probably also taking profits much better on trades that would have turned around and he's trailing his stop loss very efficiently. And this all contributes to a much better performance. And also he's gaining a lot on actively managing his trades. And also very interesting is the exit analysis graph. So each bar, the green and the red part stands for one trade. The green part shows how much the price moved into your favor. The red part shows how much the price moved against you. And the black marker shows where's your actual exit. The green horizontal line is your take profit. The red horizontal line is your stop loss. So when we look at this trade, we can see the price moved a lot in the favor and the trader exited the trade at the highest point. The price didn't make it towards the take profit here, but the trader caught a very good exit price. On the other hand, the price didn't move a lot against him during the trade and you can see it didn't even move 50% against the trader towards the stop loss. Here what we see is interesting as well. The price exceeded the take profit, so the trader must have taken off his take profit order and then closed the trade much lower because the actual exit price indicated by the black marker is well below the highest price and also below the take profit price. So this gives you very interesting insights in how you are managing his trades, how you're exiting the trades, and it can also show you a lot about the price behavior. If you see that you have a lot of trades where the price only goes halfway towards your stop loss and there's a lot of room here towards the stop loss, it could mean that you are setting your stop loss too far away and you could potentially boost your performance by pulling your stop loss slightly closer. This needs to be done with care and you shouldn't just cut your stop loss in half, but you should do this gradually and experiment with this slowly. And those are the most helpful features to get you into a very good performance review habit. Of course, there's much more and we have a lot more videos on our YouTube channel and on our website that will guide you through all of the other features. But looking at those features and going through your journal step by step, looking for specific key events in your data 
will give you a very solid foundation and help you move forward with your journal.